Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. Just checking in to show you some masks that are finished for customers. This is the the last of that big batch of orders I had to do. Uh, did like four or five H40s, that's the last one there. And a few kills as well. Got a nice clean version here from my buddy Chris. And then a bloody version. H40 turned out really nice. Uh, I over purchased when it came to the H40 orders I bought one more than I needed so that one there obviously is nowhere near finished but that's going to be up for grabs when I do finish it still got my potential next personal copy of an H40 there that I'm going to take me time and work on that one got 78 over there got 78 down here uh, but yeah I'm really really proud of how the bloody version came out it's absolutely brutal really quite terrifying to look at to be honest uh, the last bloody version I did was yeah, that turned out fantastic but I think maybe I like this one a little bit more not sure but yeah someone wears this going out on Halloween night you know dressing up as Michael Myers I wouldn't be surprised if you get stopped a few times by the police and told to take this off I mean it's just really really intense uh, the blood looks really fresh and wet really quite something but right, yeah I'm gonna put these on the mannequin each one put them on the mannequin show you how they look but yeah they've all turned out really nice and I have two more Halloween kills masks that turned up today from Mad About Horror so I'm gonna do them I think uh, one of them has been claimed already but I'll let you guys know on Instagram pretty soon when it's time to place your orders just giving myself the weekend obviously we're in the middle of the heat wave so it's um, pretty intense at the moment working in here guys got the back door open but it doesn't make any difference really it's just bloody hot all right so let me get these on the mannequins and uh, we'll just get them catalogued on the channel I always sign the bloody versions with uh, like that with bloody and red So I've got the bloody one on the mannequin with the eye inserts by horror show underscore art on Instagram. So yeah, if you want to get a Halloween kills mask from me, you can get in touch on Instagram at the night free free free. Facebook as well, or you can email me at deank333 at hotmail.co.uk. Turnaround time's pretty quick, no long wait lists, and you're gonna get, you know, you're gonna get something pretty special. Right, I'm looking forward to trying the H40 on here, so let's do that. Let's get a few more angles on this one. And here is the H40. The hair volume was a little bit too big on top, so I literally just took the heat gun to it to bring the volume down a bit. 
It's not too bad now. That is an H40 right there. That is looking pretty good. That's a customer's mask. Kind of wish it was mine. I already have one, but you know how it is with me. I tend to fall in love with each one. But that's a good thing because uh, I know it's ready to send to someone when I want it. <laughs> so this one definitely passed that test. I spent a while last night when I was finished painting it, just sitting there staring at this for about an hour. Footage, do the talking, bit of background music, courtesy of uh, White Bat Audio, is it, on YouTube? Been using a lot of their stuff in the background, it's copyright free. Really, really good music. White Bat Audio, very, very good. Check them out on YouTube. But yeah, there it is the H40, and now I'll just show you the regular kills mask on the mannequin and we'll call it a day but yeah folks I've pretty much cleared all my orders so now's a good time to get in touch and order a mask please don't order any H40s <laughs> please oh, it's hilarious last time I did that I made a video genuinely saying please you know try not to ask me for an H40 I mean I don't like to say no to people but I really don't want to do any more for a while because I you know, they're, they're an absolute pain in the arse. I mean, the results are worth it though, clearly, as you can see. I mean, when you think how this mask looked when I actually got it, and how it looks now, it's an unbelievable transformation. To something truly terrifying. But yes, you can place your orders with me now. And don't forget, I've got some masks here that are currently available. Not finished. There's an H40. When this one is ready, it will, uh, it will be just as good as that one. Maybe better. Who knows? I mean, technically, you should be getting better with each mask you do. So, um, And don't forget, you've got two 78s that are going to be up for grab soon. They're here. Just need to finish them and hair them and weather them up and stuff. But yeah, this H40's turned out real good. What do you think, folks? Let me know in the comments. And get in touch if you want a mask. That's what I'm here for. You want a mask? You want one of these for Halloween? Or maybe, maybe you want one of those? Maybe that's more your thing. I don't know. Tell me, get in touch. giving it a slight angle tweak but this one honestly I'm very very happy with how this one turned out just the hair you know if the hair if the shape of the hair is wrong it throws everything off so this one's pretty good in that department it's been a good while on the hair making sure that the length at the back is right sometimes if it's a little bit too long at the back that can throw everything off as well or if there's too much volume at the top or if there's too much volume at the sides you can also throw things off quite a lot the hair is just so important for Myers especially the 2018 and 1978 and you know the 81 and the kills they're all important really it's just very important with Myers to get the hair right and that is Another one of the reasons why these particular masks are quite hard to do because it takes a long time and it's not just a matter of getting all the weathering and discoloration and all the cracks right on the mask, it's getting the hairstyle just right and getting it to look as nasty as it's supposed to. And to be honest, there's still some nastiness I could do on the hair on this. I mean, like I said, I'm not sending it out till Monday morning, so I've got Saturday and Sunday to sit back and think about this one. I don't want to overdo it, but I think there's a little bit more nastiness that I could do in that hair up there. But it just looks really, really... It's 
not for me to say really is it because I did it but let me know what you think I think this is one of the, the more special H40s I've done in a while alright folks and that is the regular kills that's from my buddy Chris he's just messaged me back I need to check what he said because he was the guy who was asking maybe I should turn this into a bloody one once he saw that one but I did suggest to him I said are you sure because this one's turned out really nice and I can always do your bloody one later but if you want me to splatter some blood on it I can do that before Monday and then send it out to you but I'm gonna see what you said but yeah this one turned out real good Burns. That's it, Mr. Burns. And that's about it from me, folks, for now. I hope you're all coping okay in the heat. Do get in touch if you want to order a mask from me. And don't forget, I do the Art the Clown masks as well. Check my Instagram. I've done some really nasty, bloody Art the Clown masks recently, and I'll be doing more of those very soon. They don't take too long to do, so they're a bit cheaper than Michael Myers' mask. Plus, there's no hair to mess around with, so yeah art the clown he's coming up in the horror ranks i mean i've i thought he was a horror icon instantly as soon as david howard thought and played him in that first terror fire movie you know instant icon status for me but he's definitely coming into the horror consciousness and terrifier 2 coming out this year can't wait to see that so yes get in touch if you want a kills mask whether you want it clean whether you want it bloody i can do both uh, if you want an H40, uh, I, g I guess you can come to me, but I hate doing that. <laughs> and if you want one of these 278s, where is it? That one and this one, get in touch. <clears throat> and I'll let you know if this H40 turns out even better than my personal copy, then personal copy will be up for grabs. But it won't be cheap, folks. But I may keep it. We'll see. We'll see how this one turns out. I'll let you know once it's done. And that's it. Drop a like on the video, subscribe to the channel, follow me on Instagram at Dean Knight333, email me at D-E-A-N-K333 at hotmail.co.uk to order a mask. See you soon, take it easy.